Hi, I'm Jay Weinberg from the Jay Group, and this is Mike Perry from Perry Concepts, and this is Let's Talk Loyalty. So Mike, today we want to talk about the three biggest mistakes when developing a loyalty program. One, they try to pattern it after an airline program. Don't you always see that happen? Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> It's what they're familiar with, right? And it's what a lot of the consu consumers are familiar with, right? Miles, points, how things are measured, things like that. But we really know it has to be unique to your brand. You have to take the approach that we need to find out what our customers are interested in. And it needs to be a reflection and it needs to be unique to that specific company. Right, if you're trying to create a uniqueness in the industry, you want to make sure that your program's unique and not just a copy of someone else's. Exactly. The other thing too, another, I'd say number two, what we find very often, especially on the system side of it, is letting the system dictate the program. I think if your strategy is sound, you shouldn't compromise it because it's too hard for IT to implement it or the system that you've uh, worked with is not flexible enough to manage the kind of program you want. Exactly, or there might be some time involved for queuing up or changing the system so it fits the strategy. Right. It's important that you stay true to the uniqueness, stay true to the strategy, and take the approach that we're gonna make this work because that's what our customers would expect. And the third mistake that I see companies make and is it's too rich too early. Like, they make the program very um, exciting, it's very, uh, but it's not profitable. And it's very difficult to take away something as a benefit, but it's easy to add something. So I'd be more conservative when you're launching a brand new program. You can always add more benefits, and it's it's very difficult to take away a benefit. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge point. Now, Mike, I had a question come in from Sarah to the website and she's asking, how often should I be communicating with my customers? That's a really, really good question, and one we see very often. And you know, my short answer to that one is probably more than you think. Do you see the same thing? Yeah, I think it's okay to communicate as, you know, you have something relevant to say. Right. Okay, if you're just communicating just to get a touch or just to get them aware, customers are very sophisticated nowadays, and they're looking for rel you know, something that's meaningful to them. They're looking for information. So I think you want to set some kind of cadence of, of communication and some, some parameters and rules around it. Everybody gets an email, you know, there's some brands that send an email every day, you know, and they all, you know, a lot of companies know it, a lot of customers understand it. Uh, but let's say if you're texting or mobile texting, that's a little bit more uh, different. It's a little bit more intimate when you're when you're texting so that frequency or that cadence should be a lot less when you're mobile texting versus versus maybe an email absolutely sarah thanks for the question i hope that helps so to recap three big mistakes companies make when developing a loyalty program one patterning it after the airlines two letting the system dictate the strategy and number three getting too rich too early thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time